Healthy Choices, helping you live healthier. Sponsored by Intermountain Health. Welcome back to Good Things Utah. Imagine going to the doctor if you're sick and having no way to communicate with them due to a language barrier. Intermountain Health is bridging that gap with its interpretation and language services. And Carlos Martinez Morales joining us now to tell us how they are helping patients in this sponsored interview. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Intermountain, the largest employer of certified medical interpreters. Tell us about the program. Well, we have um, over 80 interpreters in our team. Uh, eight different languages, um, and we contract with our vendors to provide services in over 250 languages. So just in 2022, you provided services in 111 different languages with 45,000 different encounters. A that's month. A month. Yes. That's just a month. That's yes. not even for the year. Yes, that's a, every single month we do about 45,000 interpreting encounters. Go, go through some of those languages we're seeing on the screen there. <laughs> Yeah, so those are some of our top languages uh, that we see, but like I, like I mentioned, we offer services in over 200 languages. Spanish being our most common here in Utah, but closely followed by Portuguese and Mandarin, Vietnamese. Well, obviously when you read those numbers, there's a need for this in our state. How big is the need? Definitely, well, 45,000 times yeah. a, a month, we, we have patients who come to receive services and who find themselves in a scary situation, very vulnerable situation, not understanding exactly what's happening to them or around them. And interpreters help bridge that gap, not only with the linguistic barrier, but the cultural barrier as well, to understand the context of what's happening here. Healthcare looks very different in different places. So we, we become a cultural broker mediator to ensure that everybody's understanding what's happening. Well, Carlos, you and I were talking about sometimes in English, it's tough to understand what's being said to you when it comes to health and health care. So this is nice because you have someone, like you said, to bridge that cultural gap as well. Yeah, and interpreters are trained to, not, not everybody that's spelling well has the skills set to be an interpreter. So we receive training, certification, and are continuously learning and improving to, to facilitate that communication, make sure that everybody has a voice. This is a free service, free it provided is. service. Is it always available? What if there is an emergency call? How does that work? Yes, so we have the ability through technology to provide interpretation services, not only in person, but through video. We have thousands of iPads in every hospital and clinic uh, where we can bring an interpreter in about 30 seconds in any language and over, over the phone as well. So whether it is someone in person, over video, over the phone, or integrated into our telehealth services. If, when you're having a video visit from home, you can have an interpreter be part of that visit as well. In 30 seconds, that or can less. happen. Okay, <laughs> why is it important to have a certified medical interpreter? This isn't just a family member, per se. Right, the law actually says that family members and friends shouldn't be used to interpret in this setting. Uh, the person interpreting should be qualified to do so. And that is important because you need someone that is objective. Family members tend to want to add things or keep things from their loved ones to protect their feelings, right, when sensitive information is being shared. So an interpreter is trained to be objective, interpret everything as it is said, whether it is nice or not, whether it's vulgar or not. Uh, we interpret everything that happens. And I think that is important because that ensures that the patient and the provider can really build a relationship, really communicate with each other, right? We technically are present but are not there. Well, I find as a family member, it's tough to not be emotional. It's tough to just be logical. And it's tough for interpreters too, you know, we're humans, but, but we, we learn to keep our feelings and our biases aside and just focus on the communication. How are patients reacting? Would they tell you that I had a voice? I felt like I had a voice in that room? Yeah, that's, that's why I, I studied biology and I ended mm. up doing this because it's so uh, gratifying. People are always so grateful. Um, you can see it in their faces, you know, they light up when they see an interpreter coming in that speaks their language. Uh, because I can only imagine how stressful it is. I haven't been in the situation where I'm visiting another country and get sick, but I can only imagine that it's a very stressful situation. Well, here you are, here in, you're in Utah, but yeah. someone actually speaks your language and speaks for you. That is absolutely huge. If people would like to access the service, what should they do? They simply need to let us know when they come in or schedule an appointment that they need the services for them or their loved ones and then we'll make the arrangements to, to make it happen. It's just that easy, yeah. everybody. Go to intermountainhealth.org for more information. We'll put a link on our website at abc4.com slash gtu. And our thanks to Intermountain Health for this sponsored interview today. Carlos, thank you so much thank you for, for coming me. into the show.